2023 is a good year for us, as Daniel Ricciardo will no longer be sitting in the participant seat. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Ricciardo will finally be spotted in the paddock, but not in each of their races. As for now, he'll be the third driver in the Red Bull racing. Well, people have already started talking about him. They say he might be potential replacement for Sergio Perez in the coming times. Is this news for real? Will Ricciardo be able to handle it? What does Perez say on this matter? Don't skip and stay tuned till the end to know everything. In today's video, we'll be examining what Perez says about Ricciardo joining the team. So what are we waiting for? Let's dig deeper into the matter. On asking Perez about Ricciardo, he says that the return of the Australian driver to the team won't cause much difference for him, and there will definitely not be any kind of increase in pressure which is already there in F1. Contrary to this, we feel that the return has set the cats among pigeons at Red Bull. His new place might be called a media man, second or sometimes the third backup. Recalling the Perez Verstappen drama at the end of the last season, we are certain that many people consider him to be direct threat to Perez. It's obvious that no one will accept that Daniel has put pressure on Checo, but what is the reality? Is he really under pressure? What does he have to say about this situation? We're under a lot of pressure all the time, and Daniel's return doesn't change anything for me. Perez told Sky Sports F1. I think Daniel will complement our team perfectly. He's a great guy and one of those riders with whom I have the best relationship in the paddock. And it's good that he's returning to our team now. Again, nothing changes for me personally. The CEO of Red Bull Racing recalled that the contract with Perez runs till the end of 2024 and they have no intention to review it as of now. We all heard about Ricciardo exiting the grid next year. This is obviously sad, but tell us honestly. Were you surprised by this, considering his standard? This year, he was well below the required standard for F1, and he too feels the need to be halted for a certain time now. He confessed that everything had put too much pressure on him, too much pressure from the team, too much pressure on himself, and too much from the outside world as well, as he was unable to cope with that. There's a point for everyone when they have to assert it. Enough is enough and it is very brave of Daniel to come out. He would have gotten a seat for sure if he wanted, but this time he genuinely wanted to take some time off from all of this. Well, it's quite evident that Haas would have taken him back with a warm welcome if he wanted to, but by the look of it, it was very wise of him to take a year off the grid. This is what he needs right now. Daniel said that he needs stability. He had served two years at Renault and two years at McLaren, and leaving Red Bull had made him adapt to various things. He thinks of this, too, as having negative impact on his performance and career, as he plans to start fresh and get better before trying to return to his field in 2024. The only thing that is important for him right now is stability. He says, I thought I was more like, look, I have obviously jumped around a bit the last few years. Maybe a bit of familiarity would be good for me. Just to go back and work with people I have worked before. So, what is the reason of Red Bull signing Ricciardo, who is seen as a threat to Perez? Ricciardo says he doesn't want to drive for a specific team the next year. While having an eight-time race winner sit back in the garage under contract with the team gives you the opportunity to take a change in the middle of the season if there is such a requirement. Well, the teams can definitely do that at normal times, but the majority of the time, the reserve is there. Ricky, who is just getting a hold of the ropes, is not someone who you would want to throw in after pulling a seasoned veteran like Perez out of the car. If they employ such a thing, then the media scrutiny would be unbearable. It's good that Ricciardo knows how to drive the cars and exactly what to expect from the F1 race. It would be a bit of a less stressful situation for him, even if Ricciardo is not needed to step in Checo's car in the middle of the season. He would have been into driving the 2023 and 2024 cars in the simulator the entire year. If Red Bull has thought of cutting Perez's contract short at the end of this year, they would have received Ricciardo with a point to prove sitting in the garage and to be ready to race. But why would they ask for the swap all of a sudden when everything is normal? Well, you never know what is going on behind the scenes. The press time of the team is specially curated to broadcast the messages they want to spread. However, the team radio from Max Verstappen during the Sao Paulo Grand Prix appeared to be a little sneak peek from under the garage door at one of the potentially fractured garages. Everybody knows the fact that Perez and Verstappen are not good buddies. And if this thing ever becomes a problem for the team, the only one at a loss will be none other than Sergio Perez. 
Well, Checo had been our all-time favorite. He's had an amazing career and has been an outstanding ambassador for the sport. But if we're talking about Sunday, then you certainly know whom to choose, right? Well, it's always Max over Sergio on Sundays. You must be wondering if all of the hubbub of Ricciardo's return and posing a threat to Checo is causing him anxiety and unsettling him. But you know what? The contrary is the truth. Perez is least bothered about Daniel sitting in the wings as Red Bull's third driver in the coming season. He is well aware the pressure is a part of F1 racing, and talking about the move will not alter anything for him and the team. The Red Bull driver who picked up his third place trophy in Bologna is pretty happy about Ricciardo's return. In one interview, Perez says, I'm pretty relaxed that, I mean, we live under a lot of pressure all the time. It doesn't change anything from my side. I think it's a great achievement for the team to have a driver like Daniel, and he's going to contribute a lot to our team. He's one of those guys I get on with the most in the paddock. So I think it's just great to have Daniel in the team. And from my side, it doesn't change anything. Perez is right here because, truly, it does not change anything for him. All he can do is drive to the best of his capability and continue contributing to the team with the points required to win another Constructors' Championship. To be honest, Red Bull is not expecting him to win the races amazingly. Rather, they want him to come second. The reason behind this is that Maz will more reliably win races. So let Max focus on the Drivers' Championship whereas Checo's job is to beat off all Max's rivals to limit their points. Daniel will know for certain whether he wants to return to Formula Racing full-time. Now the only way of knowing it is to see it happen. The next few races are going to be extremely interesting. What is your take on it? What changes will we see in the coming times? With this, we come to the very end of this video. Daniel plans to have connections with the F1 world, and if we take a closer look at his future prospects in 2023, he does not dismiss the idea of returning to the championship as per Ricciardo. Well, you can look at Nico Hülkenberg, who returned after taking off for three seasons, and now Haas has signed him up as the F1 lead driver. You never know where life is going to take you. But will the return of Ricciardo pose a threat to Perez? Despite being a veteran driver, when do you think Ricciardo will return as a driver after his off? Do let us know your valuable opinion in the comments below. If you like this video, please share it with your fellow F1 fans. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Thanks for watching.